Hello, welcome to a lecture on polycystic ovarian syndrome, diagnosis and treatment, brought to you by Fertility Plus London. What is polycystic ovarian syndrome? As the name suggests, it is abbreviation of polycystic ovarian syndrome. It signifies the small cysts that are formed in the ovary. How was polycystic ovarian syndrome diagnosed? By the Rotterdam criteria, you need two of the three criteria. Anovulation, hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovaries. We will explain this a bit later. What is menstrual abnormalities? This is when the periods are either prolonged to more than 35 days or less than six periods per year or no periods for more than six months. What is hyperandrogenism? This is usually seen when there is more hair growth, hirsutism, acne, male pattern baldness, or a biochemistry where hormone levels are higher of the male hormone. What tests are needed? The FSH, LH, E2, and the egg count check, which is the AMH test, are essential. The other tests detect an excess of androgens and should be done if the periods are very irregular. What are polycystic ovaries? On an ultrasound scan, you should be seeing more than 12 of these follicles or small cysts and the ovary should be enlarged. A criteria in one ovary is enough and this was reinforced by the ESHRAE and ASRM. Also, when you have a look at this slide, this is a diagnosis of polycystic ovaries with a 3D ultrasound scan, which seems to pick up more follicles than are picked up by a usual scan. Polycystic ovaries are extremely common, and research indicates that between 17 and 33 percent of the normal population may have polycystic ovaries thus affecting almost a third of women who may not know. Before you come to a diagnosis, you need to rule out any adrenal gland problems which can be diagnosed by doing a few blood tests. About 20% of the female population have ovaries that look polycystic. 5-10% to of the female population will suffer from its symptoms and present to us with polycystic ovarian syndrome. What is the treatment for polycystic ovarian syndrome? The commonest is Clomid. The next is a drug not often used called letrozole. You then have FSH injections with or without intrauterine insemination and finally you have IVF. 